Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with low, 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 low carb, almost carnivish or almost carnivore, keto. And welcome to my channel. If you're new, you'll find that this is just a same old, same old cup of coffee type of chat every morning where we just um, exchange things. You comment and then I comment back. And we just go about our day of doing our lives just a wee bit better when it comes to our food choices and the execution of the day and how it all plays out. We practice nice, simple, simple, simple cooking, using, eating of foods. Some people don't even cook their food. We have some raw carnivore people here. That's amazing, isn't it? And so... That's how we do it. We just don't let it get all kinds of complicated. We probably all paid our dues with weird ingredients and lots of different things that we tried to keto fi in the beginning. And then some of us got hit over the head with that plank and went, I'm, I'm trying to get away from the standard American fare. So keto fying it with expensive items that I'll use just a quarter of a teaspoon of and the spice was eight dollars duh but of course that's after we bought the things and realized no no let's just keep it nice and simple a portion of protein or two maybe for some variety like how i like mine and then maybe some veg maybe not maybe you're still in that lucky category where you can have a vegetable um I only have them on Sundays now with the big green egg cooking because they're so good. And I have a much smaller amount than I ever had before. And it's just the way that my metabolism goes. And I'm glad that, um, you know, I'm paying attention. So my Monday through Friday is basically eggs and meat and um, cheese. Say cheese, cheese. And I love it. Now, for some of you, you may have gotten here by way of other people. Oh, P.P other people's programs where you either bought their food or did their food their way. Maybe even you um, treated yourself to some of their ghastly treats filled with so many ingredients that, you know, it takes up this much space on the ingredients part of the box. And of course, it's a box. There, there's your first clue. It's a box. <laughs> so that means, you know, box equals processed most of the time. Maybe not. I can't think of anything that doesn't mean processed. So um, I have a toolkit, a toolbox that I use either daily or when in need of. And those are my things that I've learned along the way from my Overeaters Anonymous days back in the 70s, 1970s. Yeah, almost 50 years ago um, that I learned things that I do that just, you know, they're so integrated into my lifestyle now that I can't, I, I, I forget that they're even a tool that I have to sharpen every now and then. And so what I do every day is pull out of my toolkit things that work for me. Um, I still use the kitchen scale. I still use a bathroom scale once a month, though. I have... Um, Celtic salt crystals that I put on my tongue every morning for electrolytes. I mix a little uh, dish of electrolyte powder with um, the juice of half of a lemon every day. That's a toolkit thing. It keeps me, you know, it keeps me from getting to those places that some of us get when we switch over to keto or carnivish or carnivore, where you could get kind of woozy. Um, most people in carnivore wouldn't have the little dish with the powders and the lemon juice, but but I do. That's part of what makes me carnivish. And so I'll have that, and it just keeps me going. I drink um, mineral waters, mineral spark sparkling waters that have electrolytes in them naturally. That keeps me going too. And I find that when I think I'm hungry or I think I'm dizzy or lightheaded or my heart is palpitating, to me, that means time for electrolytes. So I buy the bulk supplements from Amazon. I buy the magnesium. I buy the potassium. And I take a magnesium glycinate capsule 
um, the potassium, it's, it's loaded in meats and it's bioavailable. So that, that takes care of that. And the pink Himalayan salt goes in my water, goes in my coffee, goes in my belly. And so I'm, and, and, and then I have the Richmond, um, ancient sea salt from Utah on my foods that I love. And I also have some fancy dancy, um, French, uh, flakes with some, um, a fancy salt that I got from there. But I usually end up with the Redmond salt. Did I call it Richmond? Anyway, I, I end up with the Redmond salt. I get that from Amazon and that just works for me. It makes the flavor pop. I gave up pepper. I gave up hot pepper. The only spice that I still add is fennel seed to my uh, fathead pizza crust when I make it. I still love the taste of fennel. I love the taste of fennel and sweet Italian sausage. And um, so then I have Vita Cup uh, coffee. Sometimes it's a uh, beauty boost. Other times it's the genius. Other times it's gourmet breakfast. Other times it's, I don't know, another one. But uh, yeah, I have those and they have, they're infused with vitamins and then sometimes the turmeric cinnamon type of spices too, just for a little pizzazz. So my toolkits also is my, is my routine. You know, what am I doing with my daily routine? Do I get enough activity, also known as exercise? How about sun? How about rest? How about downtime, guilty pleasure time, no responsibility to anybody time, right? Do I prep things? Do I put things in the fridge so I'm not running out? I am the queen of the backup. And so those things help too. They keep my stress level low because my anxiety or my OCD or whatever it is would wake me up, you know, at, at midnight saying, oh my God, oh my God, you don't have any creamer. Oh my God. I buy the non-dairy Keto um, dairy, non-dairy creamer. I'm working on a vanilla one and an unsweetened original one right now. I like them. Um, three tablespoons, 45 or 50 calories, depending on if you get the flavored ones, they're 50 calories in three tablespoons. I was having one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, which I thought I adored. And it made my coffee that mud color. I like my coffee blonde. I don't know why. It's just, you know, it's still a treat, a little sweet, a little blonde, a strong coffee, and I'm happy. I'm good to go. I don't get cranky. I don't want to be cranky. I don't want to be hangry. So I practice OMAD. So my carbs Monday through Friday are usually under two total carbs because of the green onion um, chopped up that I have a tablespoon of that I put in my eggs and my 14 grams of fresh squeezed lemon juice in my electrolyte mixture. And, um, then I squeeze it in the water as much as I can. And I, I drink my um, pink Himalayan salt lemon water warmed up, not hot, but just warm, just a thing that I've always done. And so those are some of the things in my toolkit. I find the kitchen scale very valuable. I find the chronometer very valuable. And if nothing else, I can look at the chron chronometer and see, or chronometer, that I'm having, oh yeah, today's pot roast, oh, Oh yeah, today is ground beef. Oh yeah, today is those, are those pork chops from Whole Foods that I have frozen. It's that sort of thing. They're reminders of what is coming up with the week. You can use your own calendar too. I mean, sometimes I've written that on the calendar so I get it straight and I don't go out and buy something thinking, yeah, I'll have this on Thursday when all along I planned um, leftover steak from the big green egg for Thursday's you know meat part of the meal. So it just all works for me. It keeps me um, in a place where everything is just, you know, it's like a well-oiled machine. I like that. And, um, and it keeps me in the no worry place. I like being in the no worry place because it makes my day go smoother. So, you know, not only can you make your meal prep and your meals simple, but you can make your lifestyle simple too. If you're doing a lot of repeat things, you know, I've always got pounds and pounds and pounds of organic beef, ground beef in the freezer. So in a pinch, you know, I could, 
I could always have that. Sometimes I've prepped some keto meatballs with those Parmesan wisps. And um, I could pull out a couple of those from the freezer, mix them with some um, sweet Italian sausage and a cassoulet with some cheese on top and like a tablespoon of ragu pizza sauce. That is my idea of a casserole. I'm good to go and it it satisfies any of those Italian dishes that um, I might miss that have nothing to do with keto or carnivore anymore, that's for sure. First you dip it in bread and then you fry it in vegetable oil. No, no, we're not doing that here. So um, it would be an all meat casserole with the cheese on top and the ragu, one tablespoon of that. And one tablespoon goes a long way. I find the pizza sauce from, I mean, Rao's, not ragu, excuse me, Rao's, R-A-O, um, has the least carbs in it. A quarter of a cup is something like two carbs. Well, what's not to love about that? And so one tablespoon is certainly a lot less than that. And then I have a mighty fine little, just a little casserole dish that I like. Sometimes I make quiches in my little casserole. And it's the same thing that I would, might have where you can identify the things on the plate, like ham and cheese and scrambled eggs, but it's all in that little cassoulet and it's kind of fun that way. I like it. I like, I like gooey things. I like my um, keto fathead pizza on, on, on Saturdays. And that is my, um, have, it's my prescription for sanity. It's like have it once a week and it just takes care of any craving, cravings, cravings for carves. <laughs> might mix my words up. It takes care of the cravings that I might have for any carbs. And it's, it's taken, um, you know, whether or not have a craving. Um, it just is something that has worked for me since I've entered into the low carb, high fat, too keto, too carnivish world. And it's just one of those things. It's just one of those toolkit things. My fathead pizza, love it. And so those are just a few of the things that I do, I think, I eat, I practice every day. Toolkits are invaluable and you can always add something new to it and you can take something out. You know, for some people it could be, um, a diet soda. It just saves them on the day they need saving. You know what I mean? We all have those days. So just keep doing what you're doing. You can tweak it all the time. You might not even know that it's a toolkit in your toolbox or a tool in your toolbox because you're just using it every day. You're not realizing how invaluable it's become to you. I just love it. So enjoy your day. Thank you so much for watching. PayPal donations are always welcome. See the link below. And we always need Tuesday with a turtle, Friday with a friend, volunteers. My email is below that. I still do coaching consultations with a couple of weeks of helping you with your food plan just to get you up and running. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Just it's, you know, part making a little something for my efforts and part, um, you know, helping you out because I want to see everybody stable. Don't you love being stable? Oh, such a calming effect. So enjoy your day. My pickles, my snowflakes, my turtles, and my no matter what club members. I will see you the next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.